consign in Southeast states as indigenous Sean Nigerian Army recruitment fair to meet quota. Hello, great viewers, great beer friends. Welcome to my noble channel. Now, I am going to read this news a little and I will go on to analyze it. So, please be patient with me. Some of the Southeast states are unable to fill their quota of admission into the Nigerian army over fear of ethnic and religious prejudice, inadequate equipment to prosecute assignment and holding of vacancies. Now, the Enugu state government had on Friday also expressed worries over the inability of the state to fill its quota in the previous recruitment exercises. The government, while announcing the expected deficit of a team from the army headquarters to the state, urged Enugu youth to take advantage of the ongoing recruitment exercises to be enrolled into the army. Now, what they are saying in essence is that our brothers and sisters, some of them refuse to be admitted into the military. In Enugu state, and for this, it has called for concern from the government. Why they refuse to be uh, recruited into the military? Meaning that they could not cover up their quota, their own quota. And not only there, in some of the southeast states, they are unable to feed their quota also. They refuse to be the part of the military. That is what they are saying. Let me break it in a way you understand. That Igbo youth from Biafra land refuse to join the military of Nigeria. I mean the Boko Haram Nigerian military that we have today. And some of our brothers who claim they are leaders, who are in head of affairs, are saying that it happened because of uh, fear of ethnic and religious prejudice, inadequate equipment to prosecute assignment and holdings of vacancies. And they are expressing worries. But the question should be, why should they express worries in our own head, in our own problem? This is because they want you to continue to die as you reduce the ginger we multiply. This is the problem of your so-called leaders in the southeast region. Take it from me. It's from my heart that I'm telling you this. Why should our brothers be part of the military that is created for Boko Haram, that is created for flying terrorists? As we speak, almost 60 something percent of the military of Nigeria are Boko Haram and flying terrorists. And these are the people who murdered several Igbo military in the north and today they are not part of the military with claims that they have been repented upon that every day Igbo military are dying in the north because why? because this Boko Haram in the midst of the military are giving out information against the Igbo military in the north they will send them to Facebook Haram of Flying Janjaweed. At the same time, they will contact the Flying Janjaweed and Boko Haram that these people are coming. And at the process, they will give them fake, fake ammunition. That was what they meant by inadequate equipment to prosecute assignment and holding of vacancies. Meaning that Nigerian military does not have good equipment. But believe me, this is a lie. The head of militaries, people like chief of army staffs and chief of chief of defense staff, they will purposely 
give the fair termination and arms to the Igbo military to go and die in the war from between Boko Haram and Fulani terrorists. Not only that, they still inform them before they will come. But such thing does not happen in this Eastern region. All those recruited from Boko Haram are sent to Eastern region and this is why you see every freedom fighter there is being massacred every day by day. Some of them disappeared from thin air. Kidnapped by the same military that he want her brothers to be part of. Taken to north, key men, raped their guests. Why? Because military is no longer military. They are now Boko Haram in advance. And this is the plan to finalize Nigeria from Buhari government. And they believe that Igbo youth will be an obstacle. Since they cannot get you all, because some of you was taken away by IPOB. After IPOB started hitting it hard for you to hear. With the help of Mazen and the camp. The same man they are holding today in TSS dungeon for a year and five months. Now they are doing everything possible to rally around, to bring you into the military so that they will send you to Boko Haram to be killed. Gradually, they will continue to kill you until you are finished. Then they will know that Igbo don't have brave men again. What they will do is to take over Igbo land because they are already there with a military uniform. They will open gate for their members to come in. So our brothers and sisters, those of you who did not accept that military recruitment, even as poor as you are, God will bless you all. But those of you who accepted it are Mughals. Because you will be killed in the north. Your life will finish. Is it not preferable that since you don't have job and because of this you won't work by all means? A work that they cannot pay you well, at the same time you will die at the process. Why can't you do many jobs and make little, little money, no matter how much small it is, to take care of yourself? Instead of being part of Nigerian military. Why we are angry with you because you are part of Nigerian military? Those who are killing your people, your innocent freedom fighters. At the same time, they are doing everything possible to kill you because they don't need you. All they want is to recruit you and send you there to be killed. Why not ask all these governors who has got not to push you? Why can't the military recruited from Boko Haram stay in the north and fight their enemies who are now, who was once their brother and now their enemies? Why being sent to Igbo land? Why being sent to Biafra, especially Igbo land? In Igbo when you go there now, every military there are Fulani. The same thing goes to Enugu State. Anambra State, Ebo State. Why? Because they want to continue to reduce your freedom fighters. As they go on to reduce your freedom fighters, the same way they go on to reduce you in the northern part of the country, when they send you to the war front, they will contact the Boko Haram to kill you while they will give you fair termination. This is gospel. I am not lying against the military. This is the truth. Some of them are responsible, no doubt. But they have been taken away by Boko Haram recruited. Go and check it out. After all, the DSS that went to arrest some Dibuho, some of them were speaking French. Some of them even speak Algeria. Yes, or just language. People like us who hear a little about these whole languages, we understand when they speak. This is what we are talking about. You call them people who does not have sense. But they have sense. They have that thing called common sense. That is why they have continued to rule you. And they have continued to kill you. Continue to deceive your leaders. And because of their pocket, they have continued to obey. 
I believe those of you who did not accept that is because of Mazen Nam the Khan. Because there's no way you can accept to be a military man who have been kept to your leader in dungeon for a year and five months for not committing any crime. Even after every court, competent court, has set him free, this particular government has continued to keep him in communicado because he was the one who is telling the world the truth about the atrocities being committed by these people that call themselves Nigerian government. This is me, Sasman. I told you, nobody today nyash their back. I'll be here waiting. And I am going to come to any length, whatever they call me, to say, yes, I said this, and this was why I said it. I'm not afraid. I'm not a kind of man who is a coward. I am dangerously minded. Now, if our brothers can just respect themselves, if possible, resign from this nonsense army and find some little job to do, even though his manual job is better. After all, how much are they paying them? They can't even allow you to get to general so that they can become chief of army staff, chief of naval staff, chief of defense staff. They continue to use your brain and they pay you a little salary and they kill you at the process. Now, why should we believe these governors who are pushing you to join the military? Brothers and sisters, wake up. Don't sleep. Like I told you before, the terrorists are now in our land with bomb and every sort of things. But we are going to defeat them when the time comes because some of us are dangerously minded and we know what we have and what we don't have. But don't allow yourself to be destroyed before them by joining the military. They will not offer you anything. Every man who has been killed in not as a military man is an Igbo man Yoruba man and the so-called Niger Delta man. But Igbos has always been highest in number because they are the target. So is it not obvious that it's better that you forget about the military and manage whatever it is you're managing and stop listening to these leaders that call themselves governors, people like Ifan Yukwani, people like Okezi Bazo, people like David Omar, how are the worst of it, them all? People like Gopreso of them are the worst of them all. These are the men you have to stay clear from and stay clear from Nigerian military. If possible, those who are already there should resign. They can't offer you anything. Look for something better to do. If you make a little money, you know you made little money. How much are they paying you in the military? Nothing. So what are we talking about here? The North have been the ones enjoying the military. To that extent, even they will tell Boko Haram that when you repent, you can be president tomorrow. That's what they are telling them. And it's not news after all. Patani is now a minister of communication. Is it communication or information? Communication. This was once a terrorist. In fact, was a commissioner in Niger. All of a sudden, he's now in Nigeria. <laughs> My brothers, don't continue to sleep. Mazen Nande Kano is their nightmare, will always be their nightmare. But it's left for me and you to give him a happy hand and do the nephew. Military cannot offer you anything. Military in Nigeria is disgrace. And those who are raping women should not be regarded as military. I think I've come to the end of this. Any of you who are forcing our brothers to join the military should respect yourself. Go and bring your children back from overseas and tell them to join the military, Nigerian military. Why are you deceiving yourself? You are busy. Swangling our money. Send your children overseas. Why you are telling our brothers to go and join the military because they are hungry. The hungry you made them to become. The hungry you made them to become after university, you don't, didn't offer them job because you has destroyed the country. And they wanted to go join the military so that they will continue to die. Why you continue to release them? Enough money continue to come to you. Shame, Ibo governors. I think I've come to the end of this news. But time shall tell. Just wait and see. J. Biafra. <laughs>